Today what we're going to work on is this whole smashed up piece right here. From that door, all the way that rub rail, and down. We're going to try and cut it off. And then I have a piece of, I don't know, 22 gauge or might be 16 gauge. And uh, it's probably 16 gauge. It's thicker than this metal here. And uh, we're going to cut that out and that's where my propane tank is we're gonna make this uh, new piece of sheet with a door so we're gonna get with it we got to drill the rivets out where the brackets are first all right got that piece cut out I trimmed it all the way up to here so I can recut that curve back in my new piece that brace has got to go because it's in the way of my filler I'll bend that plate down and we'll be able to fill it up right we're gonna put a complete plate in here and then uh, we'll, we'll be good I even went and peeled this uh, one piece of this hinge and cut it down here and then we'll butt it up against there and weld it back in but all the other braces are in pretty good shape frame of the cab chassis is in good shape we can just drill them pop rivet we'll get these popped out there's the two pieces there's my template for my new curve or right there and then uh, we'll have a door just exclusively for filling the propane and then uh, we'll go from there all right we got the old sheet metal off it's all mangled up we're gonna reuse this corner here as a template to cut our new sheet metal that's what uh, we peeled this corner up cut it straight down the side of the toolbox and then we'll put the new metal up and then pound that little corner back over and then uh, re rivet it okay access to the propane tank it's actually pretty good access I may round these corners just kind of round them off a little bit so it's not so jagged and then put some like door trim or something but there's my straight edge it's a piece of three-quarter inch bar steel and it's about seven feet long what I did is I laid it up under the rub rail clamped it in and then I'll cut all the excess that's below that rub I just laid a grinding wheel right up under here and then just go along and cut that off and then our new sheet metal will be square and then I'm going to tuck it in here pop it back on uh, probably put a new brace back behind here um, I'm going to change my regulator and my hose before I do all that and get this tray straight and then uh, clean it up pressure wash it and then we'll go from there but we're working on it. My hand's getting all burnt and blistered from that damn grinder. That thing's uh, kind of rough on the old hands. But anyways, I'm going to get back to cutting. Alright, now we got a clean straight line all the way down the side of the bus. So now when we butt our new metal up, I'll be able to tack weld it up. And then go along and butt weld all the way down and all the way down. And then pop rivet where the... Uh, I put a couple pop rivets here, a couple pop rivets down there, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> 